<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Rachel Art with Heart. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. So if you didn't check out my last video about making a mermaid tail, go ahead and check that one out. Each week, we're going to be following along different kind of summer camp themes. The theme we're working on this week is ocean theme. So today, we are going to be making some jellyfish. Ooh. But first, my buddy Ray wants to give us some facts about jellyfish. So come on, let's hear what she has to say. Hi, you guys. It's great to see you again. Okay, some facts about jellyfish. Some jellyfish can glow in the dark. Jellyfish don't have brains, hearts, or lungs. Jellyfish are made up of 95% water. Whoa, those are some really cool facts. Okay, let's get started making our art project. Come on. Thanks, Ray, for those really fun facts about jellyfish. Now that we know a little bit about jellyfish, let's go ahead and start making our own jellyfish. Come on. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do in order to make my jellyfish, I have my piece of cardboard right here and I'm gonna use my marker. Um, if you have a pencil or a pen, that works too. I'm gonna simply draw a half circle, okay? So I'm gonna start right here and notice that I'm gonna kinda leave my hand in one place and I'm gonna carefully draw and maybe I'll turn this this way carefully draw there's my half circle now I'm going to take my scissors being very careful I'm going to point my scissors away from me it's a little tougher because it's cardboard so if you need some grown-up help to cut this out Make sure to ask a grown-up friend to help you. Just so gonna cut, cut, cut along the line. Just like that. Some pieces, there we go. And there is our half circle. There's no, that would be the other side of the circle right here. And we just have a half circle. This is going to be kind of the body, the top of our jellyfish. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hole punch. And I'm going to put some holes down at the bottom. Again, because it's cardboard, it's a little tough. So if you need a grown-up's friend for this part, make sure... Go ahead and ask somebody to help you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes down at the bottom. You can have seven or you can have more. You get to choose however many you want. These are gonna be where our jellyfish, the, the tentacles are gonna be kind of dangling from the bottom there. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my jellyfish. I'm going to get my googly eyes ready on the side because I want to make sure to stick those on when the paint is wet. That way when the paint dries, it all sticks together. All right. So I have my acrylic paint over here with my paintbrush. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And then I'm going to go over and I'm just going to carefully paint right on top. I'm going to paint my whole jellyfish blue. You get to choose whatever color you want your jellyfish to be. You could also paint your jellyfish blue, or it could be a rainbow jellyfish, or a purple jellyfish, or a pink, or a yellow. You get to choose what color jellyfish you want to paint. Go. All right. 
So now that I have my jellyfish all painted, I'm gonna make sure it puts extra paint right here where I want my eyes so it's nice and wet. Gonna stick one eye right there. Okay, so now that my jellyfish is kind of dry, my eyes seem to be sticking to the paint, the extra paint that I put on there. If your eyes are not sticking and fall off, you can simply just add some glue on the back, but with enough paint behind it, it should dry and have it stick on there. Okay, now we're gonna do our little tentacles, do do do, hanging. I have my yarn over here and I'm gonna kind of measure out, maybe about yay big. I'm going to wrap like this back and forth because I'm going to cut right along here. That way my tentacles are all about the same size. I'm probably gonna have to cut more, but I'm just gonna start with these. So I have some right here. I'm just gonna simply poke my yarn through the hole. If it unravels a little bit, I like to twist it to kind of get it to really stay together. Poke it through there and pull it through. And then I'm gonna give it a tie down at the bottom. So once it's kind of through, I'm gonna have them even. And then tie. It looks like my blue paint, that's some parts aren't fully dry and it's getting on my, my yarn. That's okay. So there's one with my hanging from the bottom over here. I'm gonna keep adding these all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, give it a little twist, push it through, just like that. Pull it down so it's even, give it a tie, and another tie. There we go. Now I'm gonna keep doing that all the way down. So then my jellyfish will have its tentacles hanging. If you want some of your pieces to be long and some shorter, all you'll have to do is when you're cutting your yarn piece, make sure you cut it so it's a little bit longer. Do the same thing, twist, twist, twist. Push this through the back. Pull it all the way through until it's even. Go ahead and tie and tie again. If the tying part is a little hard for you, you can go ahead and ask a grown-up friend to help you with that part. All right. So I'm gonna keep on adding yarn pieces at the bottom. You can, if you want to, you can layer some. Maybe you wanna add some more there. You can just put one through each of these. It's completely up to you as the artist. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing mine. You can go ahead and do the same. Thanks you guys so much for joining me learning about jellyfish and making our own really fun jellyfish art project. Thanks so much for joining. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, because next week we're going to be learning about 
4th of July. We're gonna be making some really fun 4th of July art projects. So don't forget to check those out. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.